Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on singles, on Aquarius singles who are currently dealing with a new person. So a new person would be someone who you've never been romantically involved with before, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and ask the cards, how does this new person currently feel about the relationship? between you and them and how do how does this new person currently see you all right let's just go ahead and get started just as a reminder this is a general reading it might not resonate with everyone but if it does resonate with you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it all right spirit please show me how does this new person currently currently feel about the relationship between them and aquarius please this is for Aquarius singles dealing with a new person. Okay, let's just get two shuffles, please. One and two. Alright Aquarius, first card we have for you here is the Nine of Pentacles upright. The Five of Wands in reverse. The World card upright. And the Two of Swords in reverse. So Aquarius, you're dealing with someone here who doesn't want to have any drama in their life. Five of Wands in reverse. They don't want any drama. They don't want any arguments or fighting. They want everything to be very peaceful and very harmonious here. Um, you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Feels a little bit of an ego with this card. They might have a little bit of arrogance or ego. But this person definitely... Um, they want to be happy. And they want to make sure that everything around them um, contributes to that happiness. Um, and I feel like this person is okay with being single. You know, I don't feel like they have any sort of um they don't have any sort of specific goal of being in a in a love relationship um i think they're more focused on themselves and more focused on their own um prosperity and success and i think you might be dealing with someone who likes money um, who likes having a lot of money or who's very um ambitious Someone who likes to wear fancy things or like, who likes expensive things. That's going to be for some of you. And it's like they, yeah, they don't want to be bothered, I feel. They don't want to have to work hard in, in a relationship or they don't want the responsibilities um, that come with being in a relationship. They want to be free and um Yeah, unattached is what I'm feeling. We, have, we do have the world card, which does represent an ending here. So for some of you, this person is ending things with you because they're not interested in a relationship, okay? But let's go ahead and clarify these cards, Aquarius. Let's start with uh, Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles, please. And we have the King of Pentacles upright. Wow. You might be dealing with someone who's very well off, who has a good career, good finances. And like I said, someone who's very career oriented here. Yeah. 
and the Four of Wands upright. Okay, so this person is interested in having, um, it's almost like they're interested in marriage here. It's almost like they want to skip, they want to skip the dating part. They just want to go straight to marriage, you know. It's like they want things to be easy, you know, very easy and um, effortless. Yeah, so they are looking for um, commitment here. For some of you, this person is looking for commitment and marriage and stability, long-term relationship. However, with the Nine of Pentacles, this person does um, have an energy of like, of someone who likes to be free, okay, and unattached. Um, they might just want to be in a relation, in a marriage or relationship. Um, for for image purposes, you know. All right, let's clarify the five of wands reverse. And we have here the lovers upright. The lovers. Yeah, so with the lovers, I do feel like this person, they do feel a strong connection to you here with the lovers. They feel um, an attraction, a very strong attraction to you. Let me get one more card for the Five of Wands, please. We have here the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so like I was saying, I feel like this person, they don't want to put in the effort here. Um, when this card is upright, it represents someone who's working and putting effort. But when it's in reverse, it's like they don't... They, they don't want things to be heavy. They want, they want it to just be, you know, very happy and lighthearted and... It's almost like they want to live in a fantasy here. Mm. Okay, what about the world card in, in the upright position? Clarify one. here the fool in reverse contradictory energy here what else and the chariot upright yeah <laughs> completely contradictory even astrologically because the fool is aries and um, chariot is cancer and these two energies are um, Uh, they create a square, what's, what's known as a square in astrology, which means that they, there's, they're conflicting energies, they're contradictory energies. <coughs> they, they clash with one another. So, clarifying the world card, I feel like this person wants to... Um, it's almost like they want to be with you, but they don't want to be with you at the same time, you know. I've been noticing that energy throughout. So very, uh, very opposite energy here. Yeah, let's clarify the two of swords in reverse. I get this energy of someone who wants to be with you and who doesn't want to be with you all at the same time. They want to move forward with you, but at the same time, they want to be on their own. Uh, 
clarify the two of swords in reverse we have here the knight of cups upright and the seven of wands upright again completely contradictory energy <laughs> this is someone who's <laughs> the knight of cups is someone who's moving towards someone with an offer of love and the seven of wands is someone who's blocking someone and not letting them in yeah so this might this is kind of a love hate situation where someone hates you and they love you at the same time i think i think they change on a daily pa on a daily basis um this person changes their mind on a daily pa basis um I think on, on one day they're waiting for you to to come towards them, to move towards them, and to offer them a relationship, to offer them love. Um, but on the following day, they, they change their mind and they decide that they're going to block you here with the Seven of Wands. And they're not going to let you get near them. Or they're not going to accept your offer if you were to offer something. Yeah, but then the, the following day, they again, they change their mind and they, they want you to come to them. And they want to have a, a relationship with you. So back and forth, back and forth energy. All right. Okay, I'm going to end the reading here, Aquarius. Let me know if this any of this resonated. It was very crazy, um, very all over the place. If it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye Aquarius. Take care.